Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to be using a Max for Live instrument that's pretty useful and interesting called Envelope. We're going to learn how to map things in a sustainable, ethical, and uh, green way. So we have uh, the Envelope here, and we're going to do a use case. So I have uh, VPS Avenger in here. I'm going to group them. Uh, and I'm going to get Serum in here. And let's say that I wanted to have an envelope affecting the filter cutoff of both of these and have them in time. Uh, I can't do that because, you know, VST, there's no standard that allows interoperable uh, modulation. Like I can't go to the envelope here and then drag the cutoff. It's not going to work. Um, maybe one day that will work, but, uh, you know, one can dream... Uh, about that. So what I want to do is I want to have this envelope affecting the cutoff of both of these at the same time because it'd be kind of tricky to get them to match up independently and you know I want to make a video about the envelope plugin so here we go. So what I need to do is I need to actually configure uh, the cutoff so what I did is I just hit that little triangle thing configure boom and now I have uh, the cutoff configured right down there. And this is useful, so you have kind of like just the effects you want to uh, automate in Ableton. You don't have to open up the plugin and see. You can physically see them right there. And uh, it does it automatically with anything that you modulate. But yeah. So uh, I'm going to do the same thing for Serum. Engage the filter. Wiggle it. And then there we go. So I did something there, is I have the filter on uh, configured to Ableton. So what I can do is I can go configure, select that and then hit delete and get rid of that because I don't want it. So let's map this envelope to the cutoff of VPS Avenger. So I'll go map to the cutoff there and effectively just solo it. We have that uh, modulated. I, I say modulated, but it's like kind of automated. I don't know. Right, so there we go. Right, automagically. All right, let's map the uh, Serum 64 um, plugin here. Go filter cutoff, map that. But what we've actually done is we've actually lost the modulation for uh, VPS Avenger, and now we have it for Serum. So how do you fix that? Well, you know, you can map multiple things to uh, the one thing, believe it or not. So you go into this little drop-down menu thing. And uh, yeah, you have uh, eight mappable um, destinations you can have per envelope. So we'll do that to the filter one cutoff. Select map, filter one cutoff of uh, Serum. And now they are both modulated by the same envelope, which is insanely cool. We can do things like adjust the curve. I find that to be quite awesome. Um, so there's you know a couple options here. We have the minimum and maximum amount, so it can basically alter them independently of you know. Uh, it's not a global modulation that it's spitting out. It's spitting out different ones to uh, different outputs here. So we can go minimum, so the filter doesn't close all the way, or we can have it not uh, not starting all the way open. If you get a little bit more beef in there. Right? Things like that. Super cool. Um, possibilities are quite endless. And it's a, it's a major step, in my opinion, um, to be able to do this without having to draw it in and stuff like that. Um, what else? Yeah. And it's just, you know, uh, an envelope and it controls both of these things. And maybe one day we'll see a... We'll see a point in time where, you know, there's inter, you know, mappability between plugins. I think they'd be quite great, but, uh, you know, we won't be seeing that for a while, maybe. But you never know, there might be a, a new VST standard that comes out that uh, says, hey, let's, uh, let's do this. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.